How are you all doing? This is Vertic Designs here and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. For this one, we are going to be blending two images and putting them all into one. You may have heard of this before by the name of Picture Inside Picture. First thing is to open up your Photoshop, so you just want to go ahead and do so. Now that you are inside Photoshop, you can either go to File and Open and then go to the image or you can go to the folder and just simply drag it in. Now, if you drag it in, keep in mind that it will keep the same dimensions as before. So if you're looking to make a thumbnail or anything else with a specific dimension, which you created, then what you want to do is you want to go to file new and then in here, select what you want, the height and width or the other way around and press OK. Once you've done that, then you go ahead and drag it in there like so. And now you can see that the image is the original size in the dimensions you created. If you want to make your image larger to stretch it to the screen, I would recommend to turn yours into a small object. It should have this little icon down here. If it doesn't, let's say yours says a layer or just the name of it. You can make it a small object by going to the layer, right clicking and go to convert small object. The reason why I would want to do this is because when it's a small object, it's a lot better for scaling the image and it will make it less blurry because it will focus on keeping the resolution. So if we print the screen and there you go. But for me, I don't need to do this. So I'm just going to close this down and go back to the original image size. So it was this one. The next thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that we do not have anything stopping us. So right now we have a little lock next to the layer. The reason for this is because this is a background and when it says background, you cannot edit it or delete anything. So you just either want to double click on this lock or just drag it down to the bin icon down here and that will turn it into a layer. So if we quickly test this, you can see we can edit it. Now that we've got the background on, we want to get our second image. So for me, it is the lion, and I'm just gonna drag it into there. Another thing that I am going to do, this is completely optional, but if you want to, you can use the eraser tool to go around your image, and that is what I'm gonna do. As you can see, we cannot do anything right now because it is a small object. So if you go to the eraser tool, which is right here, click anywhere, this message will come up and it will pretty much say, would you like to make this into a layer so you can edit it? You want to press OK. Once you've done that, you can now just go around your image. Now, if I do a control Alt and Z to undo that. One thing that you should know about the eraser tool is just like the quick selection tool, the shortcut key to make it smaller and larger is the first bracket, first square bracket and the end one. This will just make it smaller and larger. It's a lot quicker than going to up here and then changing the size of it. So that is a useful thing to know. So if I use the end bracket one, end square bracket, it will make it larger. And now I'm just gonna go around my image And don't worry too much about the background, this little white bit, because that will eventually disappear. That is the one great thing with effects. It will make the white outline disappear. If you want, you can shrink the eraser tool and just go around it like so, if you want it to not have a glow to it. Now, just like I said before, there's two ways of doing this. So. The first way is with effects, which is right here. This is all the effects you have. These are all your options. Or if you wanted to, you can go over to opacity, which is right here. You want to make sure you are on this layer and then just turn down the opacity and that will make them blend together. If you would like to have your image a little bit more different with effects, you can click on the layer and then go to where it says normal, click on it once so it selects it and now you can use your scroll wheel to go down and this will just go through all the effects. And this is pretty much up to you, this is whichever one you want to or whichever one you prefer. 
But the one that I used in the thumbnail was the hard light, which is right here. And I thought that looked quite nice, so that's why I used it. As you can see from my image, I said about the glow and the effect will remove it, but some of them don't. So what you want to do is go back to the eraser tool. And then you want to use the end bracket to make it larger and just go around it and make it blend. So it gives it a fade out around the edge. I also got rid of this dark bit. You can make it smaller. And pretty much you can customize the rest. If you want to center your image, you can go to the second tool right here, select the whole area, and then go back to the first one. And this is where you have all the alignment tools and we can center it. But I guess for now it's already centered, so we can't really do too much to it. And that is pretty much it. That's how you blend two images in Photoshop. It is that simple. And those are the best two ways with opacity and effects. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. It shows other people that it was a good video. Leave a comment on what you think or if you have any suggestions for the next tutorial. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.